Increasingly, a good motorcycle helmet comes from the factory with such a useful option. As prepared for easy installation of Bluetooth headsets, naturally the manufacturer averages the location of such preparation inside the helmet. And here sometimes you can run into a problem. The installed headset may not function at full capacity. On the one hand, people are the same, but on the other hand, we are slightly different from each other. One person's ears are here, and another's are a little lower, a third one's are higher, and some ones are a little further or closer. It so happens that sometimes, due to the anatomical features of any individual, this standard factory preparation for installing a headset is not enough. Or perhaps, someone of the developers of the helmet simply forgot, like Tim Cook, that Nathaniel Baldwin invented headphones not for transmitting sound to the user's butt. Have a good time, motorcyclists, bikers, riders, sammo catchers, and sympathizers. For example, what if the human wants the music in the helmet to play not into his skull, but directly into his ears? In this case, the communication system speaker pockets have to be moved manually. That is not an easy task, but it is achievable. This modification is guaranteed to make your headset sound like a pro. It is determining new locations for speaker pockets. Remove only the cheek pads from the helmet, apply masking tape, and stick on a piece of regular A4 paper, since its roughness is useful. Now stick on the carbon paper. Place round or oval earbuds in your auricles. Wear a thin balaclava, put on your helmet, make sure the headphones are placed correctly seat, buckle the neck strap, be careful. The helmet should be in its native position on your head. Now carefully and without fanaticism, move the helmet in the horizontal plane and in a small circle in the vertical so that the carbon paper forms prints of the headphones on the paper. After obtaining the prints, use nail scissors to trim off the excess. Place the headset speaker in the center of the print, fix it and draw a circle with a reasonable margin in diameter. Later, this delta will be required for installation and successful adjustment of the speaker placement. During the milling process, there will be a lot of dust. Cover the inside of the helmet with a regular plastic bag using ordinary scotch tape. You will need a flexible drive mill gun, a milling cutter and a vacuum cleaner. Carry out the milling very carefully. Use sandpaper to smooth out any imperfections by hand. Be extremely leisurely and very careful with these manufacturing processes. You can use a permanent marker to touch up the paint if your helmet's EPS layer is black. Remove dust. Place the loop sticker in the center of the new speaker pocket. Be careful. This kind of Velcro can be powerful. This means that it will be quite difficult to separate the pair, hooks and loops. However, Various adjustments will be required many times during the installation and testing process of the headset. Therefore, take a piece of thin paper, make a hole in it, and use this element as a gasket between the mating parts. A thin paper gasket with a hole will allow you to easily remove and install the speaker. Using 30% of Velcro out of 100 is quite enough for the headset to work perfectly while on the move. Delete the gasket after you have rolled a good distance and make sure that any adjustments or movements of the speakers are no longer required. There is no need to cut and solder the headset wire. Try to lay the wire connecting the left and right speakers along the top of the helmet if it seems too long to you. It makes no sense to immediately glue on a hard microphone. Just put it, position it correctly, and install the cheek part. Ride and test the microphone on the road and in the parking lot. Find the optimal microphone position for you. Glue the microphone after you have had a long ride and make sure that no further movement of the microphone is required. All this will ensure you maximum comfort and safety. Find a couple of suitable surfaces on the helmet where you would like to install the headset. Put your helmet on, place your finger here and there, choose the most comfortable position for your hand, and trace the location of your index finger with a marker. Clean the helmet strap rivet for sealing. Lean the device on the helmet and determine the position of the rivet. Apply a piece of double-sided tape to the headset unit, but do not remove the protective yellow layer. The protective yellow layer is an excellent separator because the hot melt glue does not stick to it. Degrease the necessary surface of the helmet, 
remove the protective paper from the adhesive layer of the Velcro hooks, and install the headset unit in the chosen square. Press the unit to ensure maximum adhesive connection of the headset to the helmet. Be attentive and careful when leading the wires out to avoid sharp creases.